what started off as a basic driving range drill that Cameron Young would do on the range with his swing coach and father, David, turned into something he would implement into his golf swing to make him an absolutely elite ball striker. Hey everybody, I'm George Connolly with Scratch Golf Tips. Today we're going to be looking at the golf swing of Cameron Young, talk about the fundamentals, and most importantly, address the backswing pause that he uses in his golf swing, which is a super interesting move, and I think a lot of people can learn from what Cameron has learned from in implementing this into his golf swing. So starting off with the address position, Cameron Young has a fairly stable base. The legs may be a little bit wider apart than a normal golf swing. Cameron is a little bit smaller, but a very strong golfer. So that stable base is something that a lot of shorter golfers who have a lot of length and torque, it's something that they use. Rory McIlroy, especially with driver, has that wider stance. And that's just going to allow him to create a stable base through his really massive rotation that generates a lot of speed. Posture at address may be a little bit slouched over than normal. Uh, again, I don't think this is really a bad thing. It's more of a comfort and consistency thing. So when looking at posture in your own swing, if you're a little bit hunched over, that's fine. First off, make sure that it's not because of your equipment. If you're not fitted for golf clubs correctly, then that's a different discussion to have and I would work on that. But if you're just a little bit hunched over the ball and that's what's comfortable and your arms can lay comfortably in that position, then there's absolutely no harm done. Something that Cam Young has here with his posture is something that he can do consistently. So it's no problem at all. Now talking a little bit about the backswing before that famous pause of his, he actually has a very interesting tempo. It comes across a little bit quick, uh, you know, right off the ball. That club seems to come back quick until it gets to about knee height, and then it really slows down. And this is something that we don't really see very often, but obviously the reason that that club is slowing down is because Cameron Young has that pause in the backswing. So we're going to talk about the fundamentals of the pause in just a second, but one benefit that the pause creates in his swing before it even happens is that it keeps him more controlled with that takeaway speed, the swing tempo, the swing rhythm. Now, Cameron didn't always have this backswing pause that we've seen. As a junior golfer, he didn't have it. He had that quick takeaway uh, that we kind of see at the very beginning of his takeaway, but it never really slowed down through transition. So this is something that he worked on on the range and liked it so much that he felt comfortable implementing it into his golf swing at all times, and it's clearly worked. So let's talk about the fundamentals of why pausing in your backswing can really be beneficial. First off, and probably most obviously, is it can completely clean up your move through transition. If you're coming way over the top, you're a little bit steep in transition, it's likely because you're rushing the move through transition. Now you can say, all right, slow that move down a little bit, that can help, but pausing entirely and basically taking stock of where your body is at the very top of your backswing, it really gives you a lot of time and some effort to conceptualize where your body positioning is. Now I'm not saying that Cameron Young is at the top of his backswing thinking, okay, now I need to shallow out my swing. For him, it's very subconscious. And for anyone, it will become that way. But at the beginning of this transition, if you're, go if you're trying to work on a hitch or a pause in your golf swing, even if it's on the range as a drill, there's going to be some thoughts that go through your mind during that pause as it's uncomfortable. But once you get through that and get more comfortable, you're going to be synced up a little bit better. Now, another thing that the pause does incredibly well is it allows Cameron Young to begin that lower body rotation and he's really working that lower body towards his target line and while he's doing that the upper body is just getting set it's not moving with or against that lower body it's getting set his hands are getting nice and high. He has those hands very high in the backswing, which I've always liked. He's getting those arms fully extended. He's just putting himself in the best upper body position. And while that's happening, the pause allows that lower body, think of that belt buckle beginning to twist out away from the ball and towards that target line. Now in this front on view, I really like this camera angle. Look at the moment of impact with driver. That belt buckle is completely cleared out of this golf swing. If anything, that's actually gone past the target line and it's continued past it, which is going to lead to an incredible amount of swing speed generated. Because those hips are unwinding and uncoiling so effectively, the arms have no choice practically, but to shallow out 
come through the ball with an incredible amount of speed and in, in great positioning because he took the time with that swing pause at the top of the backswing to get everything nice and synchronized. Now, one caveat to this swing pause that I think everyone should be thinking about a little bit is how much athleticism something like this takes. There's a reason that not many golfers have a swing pause. You need to have great hands. You need to be a great ball striker already in order to do this. If you haven't already, I'd be curious to see what you think in just trying this on the driving range because I know that for me I have a very difficult time hitting anything close to a decent golf shot when I pause at the top of the backswing because I get out of sync and I'm, I'm so used to obviously not pausing as many golfers are that this is something that I've struggled with personally so I work away from it but do not get me wrong this is absolutely beneficial to a lot of people but keep in mind that it does take a great deal of athleticism obviously Cameron Young has done it successfully he's a professional athlete he's one of the best golfers in the world Hideki Matsuyama had a hitch in his swing for a while one of the best athletes in the world so if it doesn't come to you naturally understand this isn't something that's easy to do if it was easy to do then everyone would be doing it but the benefits are certainly there for the right golfer so please if you try this out leave it in the comment section down below it's a super interesting move a great drill even if you don't implement it into your own golf swing certainly something to experiment with as always thank you all very much for watching these videos i very much appreciate the support on the youtube channel it does mean quite a bit to me play well and take care